Hi everyone. This is going to be a, a video on identifying subject terms, predicate terms, uh, copula, and quantifier in categorical form statements, propositions. Um, so the first thing uh, we need to do here is to just briefly go over uh, the four types of categorical propositions. This is in the textbook. It's pretty simple. A, A form has the form all SRP. E form, no SRP. I form, some SRP. And O form, some S R not P. So, um, so that's, that's pretty much it. Um, okay, so let's go back and work a few of these out. So number one, uh, some executive pay packages are insults to ordinary workers. All right, so the quantifier here is either universal or particular. So remember, A and E statements have universal quantifiers, all or no. And then um, I and O statements have particular quantifiers, some, and some are not. So here's some is a particular quantifier, uh, and the quantifier itself is sum. The subject term is what comes before the copula, or, or is the subject term, the subject of the statement. So executive pay packages is the subject term. R is the copula, it's the thing that connects the two terms, the verb that connects the two. And insults to ordinary workers is the predicate term. So these are gonna be pretty easy, uh, but don't worry, everything builds on itself and soon you'll be doing uh, excellently at very complex things in the future. No stressful jobs or occupations conducive to a healthy lifestyle. No is our quantifier, it's a universal. Stressful jobs is the subject term. You can also think of them as classes because you need to have a noun. Um, um, you need to have a noun both in the subject class and in the predicate term. So stressful jobs, subject term, are, copula, the verb that connects them, usually is is or are, and then occupations conducive to a healthy lifestyle. You need that, you want the entire thing, that's the predicate term. All oil-based plants are products that contribute to photochemical smog. Quantifier, all, it's a universal. Oil-based plants, subject term, are, verb, copula, thing that connects, and then products that contribute to photochemical smog, predicate term. Uh, number four, some preachers who are intolerant of others' beliefs are not television evangelists. Some are not. Okay, so this is an O-form statement. It, is, it has a particular quantifier. Preachers who are intolerant of others' beliefs. Now, they're trying to fool you, right? Because there's two R's here. But the copula is actually the second R. Because we know that in a... In, in a, a statement, some S R not P, S would be everything before the R not, and the predicate term would be after the R not. So we know television evangelists is the predicate term. Some are not, it's an O form statement, and preachers who are intolerant of others' beliefs is our subject term in this case. Number five, all trials in which a coerced confession is read to the jury are trials in which a guilty verdict can be reversed. All is the quantifier, universal quantifier. Trials in which a coerced confession is read to the jury is the subject term. Are, uh, copula, and trials in which a guilty verdict can be reversed is our predicate term. Now we'll get into this a little bit more in the future, but you might be called to change a statement into categorical form. 
So if this just said all trials in which a coerced confession is read to the jury can be reversed, that's usually how we would say it in everyday language, um, can be reversed is not a predicate uh, term because it doesn't have a subject or it doesn't have a noun in it. We need a noun. It needs to be a noun class. So you'll see here that they use kind of strange language. They say all trials, blah, 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 are trials. They restate trials, but that's because we need this in categorical form. So we need a noun in the predicate term as well as in the subject. Same thing happens if you say, uh, Justin is my teacher. Um, uh, that's a kind of a confusing one, but the way that you would make it categorical form would be all people identi identical to Justin are people who are my teacher. So see, we had to add the word people there because we need a noun in that term to create a class of individuals. All right, we'll do one more. Uh, number six, uh, you should be able to get these now. It's, it's, uh, this, is, this is the baby steps. Um, some artificial hearts are mechanisms that are prone to failure. Some is the quantifier. It's a particular quantifier. Artificial hearts is the subject term. Are, copula, and mechanisms that are prone to failure is our predicate term. So you should be able to do the rest of these. Uh, I hope you found this video useful and uh, keep learning logic and developing your minds.